G'day, welcome to this week's video. One thing I've been reading about quite a lot, and we've been putting this in practice probably for the last uh, 10 years, is that in the Australian share market, um, you know, the bulk of the, the market is made up of the top 10 or 20 businesses. So you can think about four banks and Telstra, QBEs, CSL and, and the resources businesses, and these are all, you know, I suppose, your so-called blue chips. Now I think they get that name, you know, blue chip because they've had such a strong run over the the uh, 20 years prior to being called a blue chip. So my thought process is that there's, you know, tail, uh, so headwinds for some of these businesses. Um, probably, you know, the standout business in the the top 10 will always be CSL. It's been a remarkable business that I've uh, done a um, a video on in the past. Um, and it's been remarkable because it's been able to grow its revenues. Now the one thing that, that worries me by just going to blue chips and thinking you've got a very safe portfolio is that the ability for, you know, say for our banks to grow like they have done for the next 20 years as well as they have for the last, I think is, is very minimal. They've got stronger capital requirements um, that need to be met, which means they've got to hold more cash, um, you know, to offset the amount of money that's been lent out. So they've got to have more capital uh, to lend more money, which obviously restricts the return. Um, and I think that Australians are now um, you know, officially got the highest household debt in the in the world. Um, that the ability for households to gear up again to take on more debt. Um, is is next to nil. So I think the banks will be strong businesses and I think they will grow their revenues over the longer term but but to see this the growth that they've had for the previous 20 years I don't think there's any any chance at all. Obviously with the BHP, um, Rio and the, the energy sector you know the commodities and resources sector well you know we're seeing obviously the hangover of, of China slowing down. So I think an, an, an approach to build portfolios that are, that are based around, you know, so-called blue chips, um, you know, I don't think that's going to give a great result for the next 20 years. And what we do here is we're focusing on finding businesses that have, you know, great tailwinds, um, you know, that are, there's just changes that are pushing their businesses. Um, and a lot of these businesses are not local, a lot of them are overseas. The ones that are local are doing a lot of business overseas and they're not big businesses, um, you know, they can be smaller caps um, and, you know, when I say smaller caps, that can be between $500 uh, million up to $1 billion, and there's some very good businesses that are worth 2 or 3 or $4 billion. They're not monsters, but they've still got uh, potential growth and they get that growth from uh, increasing their earnings and profit uh, while they're younger businesses. So they're not as mature and I think they've got more upside. So that's what we're doing here and we've done that very, very successfully for probably the last eight years since we've probably turned off uh, the banks and the resources uh, in recent times. Thanks for listening. Please give us a thumbs up and also you can subscribe to the channel if you'd like to. Thanks for listening.